welcome to This Is A Man's World. Today uh, is the end of the job, so I've got some surveying to do. And I thought I would talk about surveying versus engineering. So stupidly, I left my um, high-vis kit in the back of the truck over the weekend, which means as I got it washed and the back of my truck is not exactly waterproof, um, my kit's probably all wet. So, not wanting to put wet trousers on, I'm gonna have to do something to sort. Yeah, they're pretty gross. So I'm gonna take this stuff inside, try and find a radiator. So when you can't actually find a um, dryer to hang the stuff on, then you have to use a hand dryer. It's on. It's not really dry, but I got work to do. Okay, so whilst I drive across the site, let's talk a little bit about surveying versus engineering. I do both. Do I equally like both? Hmm, that's the question. Uh, I probably would say yes. I thought that actually I enjoyed land surveying more, but recently having jumped back into engineering and setting out, I think it's pretty equal. Generally with surveying, um, there's a lot less to think about when you're starting out. There's not a huge amount of information that you need to get going, so that's kind of nice. You've got to make sure you know exactly what the client wants and that you pick up everything you need for a survey. Surveying can also take you to some pretty cool places. Now, I'm not saying a landfill's cool, uh, but you're not always on a building site. <laughs> Equally, you could be sent to some pretty remote locations. It's not always the case, but for me, land surveying doesn't need as much accuracy as setting out. Controversial one, but I think there's more room for error in surveying. Eh, maybe not. I don't think surveying is as complicated as setting out. You know, when you're setting out, you have a lot of things to overcome. Surveying, mm, I've never really encountered a huge amount of problems. And the problems I have had have been with, yeah, kit. So the gas survey is all complete. I'm absolutely knackered. It's really muddy out here today. And when you're surveying and you get like three inches of mud like this, stuck to the bottom of the boots then it makes everything three times harder. So you may or may not have noticed that I've been using this bit of kit um, in the last vlog and this one which has this monstrous antennae. It's not my own kit and here's the reason why. So what the hell happened to my kit? Well I bought some secondhand kit and as with anything that's secondhand, I have a few issues with it. It's it's not anciently old, um, but it's not brand new. And like anything that you run software on, you're going to come across problems. At the end of the day, a GPS is computer. And last week I was having some problems on a job. And after about two or three days, I realised that it was my kit and nothing to do with satellites, etc. So I had no other option than to get it sent in and see what was wrong with it. Now, the trouble is when you own your own business, I say always say this, there's positives and negatives. Kit breaking down is one of the negatives because what you have to do is send your kit off, you've got the repair costs, which can be quite a lot, and you have no idea uh, what's wrong with it until they even look at it and give you a price. And secondly, you cannot tell a client, look, um, I can't come to work today because my kit doesn't work. So what you have to do is hire in kit from a company. That in itself is expensive. That's what I've had to do this week and what's ended up happening is in reality I've lost two days pay because I've come to work for two days but the cost for my kit etc has is equates to the same amount that I would have earned. 
But you know what? The client is the most important thing and they don't know what costs I've incurred. They just know that they're getting their work done, which hopefully for me will mean more work in the future. <laughs> folks thanks for watching oh uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to watch more videos and I'll be right back see ya